Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 43 in chapter 22. Chapter 22 is about Gaussian's rule. So there we can see we have a very large flat slab non-conduction object. So keyword non-conducting tell us the charge is uniformly distributed. The thickness is D and the charge density is rho E. So first one, we need to show the electric field dense outside of this object. So we can draw a Gaussian surface, look like this one. Mm -hmm. Now we can see we write down the Gaussian, surface, Gaussian equations. So this is electric field dense times the Gaussian surface. So how can we do that? We can see for this object, Electric field then is out is just uh, pointing outward, just at this uh, two surface. Agree. At this surface, we don't consider its electric field dense. So now we can see the surface areas for this side is A, and for this side is also A. So we use electric field dense times Gaussian surface 2A equals the enclosed charge divided by epsilon naught. This is Gaussian's rule. Now we can see, can you determine the electric field dense enclosed or electric charge enclosed? Yes, we know the charge density is rho E, right? Times the volumes, this is A, cross-sectional area E, and the Thickness is D, so A times D, so rho E, A times D. So we input the enclosed charge as the rho E, A, D in this function. We get it look like this one. You can see A and A can cancel. So we get the electric field as rho E divided by D, rho E, D divided by 2 E epsilon naught. And this electric field is just radically outward, right? Just a perpendicular outward of this object. The second one tells us we now place this object along the line y equal to x. And then we have a point charge, just like a particle. The mass is m, the charge is a positive q located at zero. The y naught, right? So the location is zero and has the initial velocity v naught along the x directions. We need to show the condition for this uh, particle will hit the slabs. So in this case, we can consider it looks like the projection motion. As we talked about, the electric field dense in this region outside of this non-conducting uh, uh, slabs we just uh, proved, right? It's a perpendicular outward magnitude is this one. If there is a point charge, the charge carry positive charge, positive charge. So this uh, particle will just oh uh, there is, will be an electric fo force Q times E act on this particle. Do you agree? Because the electric field then tell you is along this direction. So the electric force is Q times E, right? And also, we can project this V0 into component X plus Y plus. See, if V0 projected as in X plus is V0 cosine 45 degree, why? This angle equal to this angle. This angle is just uh, 45 degree because it tells us this line equal to y equal to x, right? Slope is 1, so that means this angle is 45 degree. So at the y component, y plus component, this is v naught sine 45 degree, agree? So we can write it initially at the y component. It is v naught sine 45 degree, right? Yes. So now you can see it looks like in the x direction, in the x plus direction, there is no acceleration, no force acting on it. And in the y plus component, we can see 
the electric force will bring the acceleration, right? This acceleration is just uh, a y plus. We can write it because in the y plus condition, y plus component. This is a negative q e divided by mass, right? Because the electric field, then we say electric force is q times e. But in this component, this is negative. So negative q e divided by mass. Input the e inside. We get it. Look like this one. So in this case, the particle will do the projection motion, then hit the slab. This is how it moves, right? So there, we need to follow the condition. It just uh, hit the slabs. So when it just hit the slabs, that means when this particle moves to this location, the velocity be zero, right? So in the y plus component, that means the we need to determine the final final velocity at the y component. Agree at the y component. So this one is a v. And then how much distance displacement it moved in the y plus condition. So we can draw a line. This is the y component it moved, right? And we can see this side length is y naught. This side length y naught. And this is 45 degrees. So delta y plus, we say y naught sine 45 degree. Agree? Yes. Now we use our favorite equation in chapter 3. We can say final velocity squared minus initial velocity squared equal to 2 acceleration, the displacement. This is Vinard, right? So we can write the v squared in this function. And input is the v o y plus and a y plus and delta y plus. So this one, we inputted it from there. And the acceleration we input from there and then the delta y plus we input it from there so this v square when it reaches to this slab must be larger than zero so it can hit the slabs agree yes so we can simplify it this is how it works so as we know sine 45 degree is a square 2 divided by 2 so this is sine 45 degree square 2 divided by 2. So we replace it. it so this is uh, v naught squared and square 2 divided by 2 squared becomes the 1 over 2, right? So this one we write it there. So now you can see what we can do. We can simplify it, right? So this one and this one cancels. And then we can say we times two at both sides. This one, this one cancels. So we can write the function look like this one. Mm -hmm. And then put this part at the right hand side. We get it look like this one. And then we can solve the v naught. Just uh, satisfy our requirement there. Thank you.